I think one of the reasons why I first decided to study law is because that's something that I've been told I'd be very good at from a very young age. I just used to question things a lot. I used to critically analyse things a lot. I used to always ask why. And people would always see that and see that behaviour in me and be like, you would make a good lawyer. And I think the main reason why they said that is because I come from a family that has a lot of lawyers. Um, one of We actually have a famous lawyer in my family. My great uncle, Professor Sifo Mtunu, in South Africa, he has a law practice. He went to Harvard. He's kind of like um, a hero of the family. Everyone loved him. And I really like the idea of even being considered like a predecessor, I guess of him and his law practices. He had four, I think. And he had like streets named after him in South Africa and he was a very like, he just, he's a very influential member of my family and the greater community that he was a part of. And I think I just like the idea of helping people so much with my huge analytic brain, you know? Like, it's, it's a nice thought. I've been incredibly creative and I've been trying to hone my analytic mind more recently so I'd be better at writing essays but I've always been I've always had a passion for argumentation and um, debate like I just like the idea of ideas some people think it's difficult for me to like or difficult for an artist in general to be able to reconcile such a dull or considered dull dry academic subject with something as fluid and formless i suppose as art but really i don't think it's that difficult to think about because all the decisions that law necessitates require creativity i guess those ideas kind of encompass um what does the law mean to me also why i decided to study the law over the summer of 2020 i've read uh, multiple law books i've read the law machine letters to a law student uh barnard o'sullivan and virgo's what about law and how the law works i just found it very interesting that in all of those books just the same ideas kept arising of studying law as an academic practice it just dissects this law machine like an engineer would do with any other machine. So many people view the law as this static thing when really it's just, it's organic because it's as a result of humans and humans are imperfect beings. It's just, it's so interesting. Nicholas J. Bride's Letters to a Law Student, he proposes law as a set of conversations and I love conversation. I love talking to people, arguing with people, discussing ideas. It doesn't really matter who's wrong or right I suppose. I guess it kind of does, but the main important part of having that conversation is deciding where the lines lie. It's about discussing what sort of society that we should live in and what sort of laws should be allowed and what sort of laws may be potentially discriminatory and what kind of laws are effectively neutral, what kind of laws are outdated, what kind of laws need to be instated. It's just so fascinating. Just it's intellectually combative and it's dynamic and such is the nature of jurisprudence and I find it so cool. I think what what excites me most about the law degree I think is just it's knowing more. There's just so much to go through and there's so much to know and so much to learn and so much new vocabulary and it's just it just enamors me truly. I feel like the law would fit my future career paths because I like the idea of like being an analyst, not even particularly a legal analyst, perhaps like um, an intelligence analyst, I think. I really enjoy that idea. I know someone who's um, who, did their who did their bachelor's in law but kind of had like a year of information technology and they're doing a master's in cybersecurity. That sounds endlessly fascinating, but yeah. I think the strengths that would aid me in my study of law is the fact that I have a very deeply creative mind <coughs> and um, I had difficulties in my A-levels with formatting um, essays so I worked very very hard to be able to hone an essay writing technique that makes sense. I feel as though my thoughts can come out as quite scattered at times. Um, and I'm just trying to my hardest to be able to format them in a way that's academically viable. 
to summarize, I feel like difficulties in the study of law will be um, this lack of structure I find within myself, but I'm working hard to reconcile that. Very hard.